Hello everyone, I'm jumping on here really quickly because I wanted to just share a testimony about how amazing God is. So just last week I was dropping off my car just to get a regular service and I didn't have to be into the office until a little bit later that morning so my coworker and I went across the street to a Big Lots and uh, like a Goodwill that was there because they always have really great stuff and you know as I go in I'm walking through the aisles and I see this beautiful little shelf accessory that says vision written on it now uh, vision is the name of the series uh, that my pastor has been preaching on uh, for the rest of this year going into 2020 like the saying says you know we want clear vision for what God is doing in us individually in our families and then corporately collectively as a church for the next year so I thought wow how cool you know God speaks in the big lots so I took a picture and as I turned the corner all of a sudden I just get hit with this really intense hip pain and I know that this is not my pain so immediately I just started to ask God who is feeling this can I pray for them show me who this person is it was really early so there weren't a lot of people in the store I ended up asking the lady that checked us out if she had any back pain or hip pain she said no so we continue on to the goodwill and as soon as we walked into the goodwill the pain immediately just left me and I just was like wow God okay this person is here show them to me and I think I might have been looking for like Quasimodo or something walking around in the store like somebody limping or in need obviously of uh, you know a prayer and healing but I just felt God whispering to me in my spirit keep searching keep searching so I did and again I just didn't feel it he was highlighting anybody to me until we checked out and I just happened to ask the lady because it looked like she had a back brace or something on underneath her clothing so I asked her if she had any hip pain she said no why do you ask now my real estate partner is Presbyterian we've had very interesting conversations about God and the Holy Spirit and healing I know she doesn't believe the way I believe in these things so she ended up walking away but I explained to the woman what had been going on what God was allowing me to feel and she told me God was showing me Eugene and apparently he worked in the warehouse and I said well is Eugene here and she said yes and I said well can you bring me to him so as she proceeded to bring me to the back of the store at the warehouse I see on the left frame of the warehouse entry a sign that says fire extinguisher in all red pointing down obviously to a fire extinguisher and then the number 10 underneath it now that was really profound for me because the Lord had given me a prophetic word to speak uh, just the day prior regarding the number 10 and so I just knew that he was gonna show up and my confidence and my faith just skyrocketed I knew that this man was gonna be healed and, and experience God in a powerful way so Eugene walked out and you know the Lord was gracious enough that he had a New York Yankees hat on and I used to live in Rhode Island you know I love the Yankees grew up watching those games with my dad so you know he gave me a good icebreaker so to speak and uh, you know I explained what God was allowing me to feel and I asked him if I could pray for him and he said yeah pray for my paycheck too so I said why not so I just laid hands on him I did uh, have some uh, anointing oil from the flowing oil ministry in Dalton Georgia if y'all are uh, familiar with that if not you can look them up and I had anointed you know uh, anointed him and, and, and was praying for him and just started to speak to the pain that uh, you know his hips would come into alignment that if anything was out of place you know I was speaking to the pain and he started manifesting in front of me now I have been doing this for many 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 weeks months even and I've always had faith that even though the person didn't manifest or confirm anything as far as healing in that moment I have faith in my spirit God has healed that person and I made another video about laying hands on a little boy and starting to feel like the cartilage in his ear shifting but it kind of freaked me out a little bit because I hadn't experienced that so I was just so confident that God was gonna do this for Eugene that I just continued to press in the spirit and after we were done praying there was like a circle of people all around us and he said you know as you were praying for me I just felt this presence just come over me I can't explain it and I just felt this heat in my back and I said that was the Holy Spirit that was the finger of God touching you and healing you and he allowed me to feel your pain so that I would be obedient to him and find you and pray for you because he loves you and I just told him you know keep 
searching, which was what God had pressed upon me when I was searching for him. And so it was a really incredible moment. And you know, this is what God wants to do. This man was in a random store in the back of the store on a random side of the road on a random day, you know, but because we as a body choose to obey God and the utterances of the Holy Spirit and press in and search, he was able to encounter God in the warehouse in a goodwill that day. And I know that that has marked him and he'll never forget how God showed up for him that day, you know? And so I would just encourage you all continue to press, continue to search, continue to keep your spirit open and available for the Holy Spirit to guide you because all God needs is one person to say yes, to begin shifting the atmosphere in the local community one person at a time. And it's like a domino effect. So be encouraged. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.